Hey y'all, what's up? It's Darren. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're new here, I talk about college, engineering, fashion, and art. Today's going to be another college video, and I'm going to be going into why I think my college essays failed for Columbia. But yeah, that's all I'd really like to say. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. It'll really help me out in the future, and let's just get straight into the video. So yeah, I applied to about eight schools or so about two years ago, and one of them was Columbia, and I got this from Columbia. And honestly, out of all my essays that I turned in, I think this was definitely the weakest ones compared to all my other schools. And it would be inaccurate to say that my essays were the pure reason why I didn't get a spot right away when the missions came out, because that's definitely not the case. It's a holistic review process. But I thought it'd be helpful for you guys to look at my essays and give you some pointers for things that you should avoid when you're writing these essays so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. And hopefully you'll get into the schools that you're dreaming of getting into. I'm not gonna be reading my essays today, but rather I'm just gonna be taking some points out or have some takeaways that you guys can can take and hopefully apply it to your essays to avoid these mistakes. So yeah, the first thing I would say, if I could describe my biggest mistake in one word for my Columbia essays, I would say that they were generic. My essays were pretty generic and I'm going to get into depth into that right now. So the first prompt, I'm not sure if they stay the same or not throughout the years, but the first prompt that I had was list a few words or phrases that describe your ideal college community. And the essay that I wrote could have been replaced for any school. There was nothing that I mentioned about, I don't know, Columbia's buildings. I didn't mention Columbia's name once in that essay. I didn't mention, I don't know, their football stadium, etc. I talked about stuff that I was excited for and I was, I don't know, I was too scared to mention the school name or anything part of the school because I didn't want to seem, I don't know, too desperate. I don't know if that's right what I want to say, but you gotta seem desperate because you want to get to the school. You want them to believe that you will go there if they take you because they want a good matriculation rate, etc. And they also just want students who they think really want to go to that school because there are limited spots and they don't want to take somebody who would seem kind of interested, but they're like, uh, maybe not. Like they want somebody who is dying to go to Columbia. And I honestly did not express that feeling in my essays. And the first essay was definitely an example. I said stuff like unbelievable experiences. What? What does that mean? I said grand plazas. Okay, multiple schools have grand plazas. What? I said, professors that bring the already mind-boggling curriculum to life. What? Every university has professors that try their best. I didn't put a name of any Columbia professor in the engineering department, humanities, any class I wanted to take. What? Overall, it was just too generic. I could have replaced any school, inserted that school into the title and it would have applied to that school. It was not unique to Columbia whatsoever. So you definitely need to make your essays, whatever school you're writing for, whether it's Columbia or a different school, try your best to make it unique to that school when they're asking you, you know, for your ideal com community or why us, this is kind of a why us, but not exactly. Please also avoid cliches. If you think it's cliche, take it out, take it out, put it in a little bag, wrap it up, throw it in the trash can, take it out. Do not put it in there because cliches are just not it. It's cringe. You know, these admissions officers are reading hundreds and thousands of essays and they want stuff that's really gonna catch their attention and keep their attention. They don't wanna see things like only time will tell, um, once upon a time. These are really bad, but for example, just don't put, don't put cliches. I think in my essays for Columbia, I had some cliches in there and I cringe reading them. You're gonna cringe if you put them in there. Don't put them in there. Like I put, unbelievable experiences. That's not really cliche, but it's cringe. It doesn't tell anything about me or why I wanna to go to that school. I definitely bombed that portion of this supplemental essay. Another prompt was, list the titles of the re required readings from courses during the school year or the summer that you enjoyed most in the past year. And the books that I listed and the stuff that I listed told no story. They didn't show what I like to read, subjects that I'm interested in, genres, etc. There was no story, it was too bland. I was kind of just putting stuff that I thought I did like, but I really didn't curate something that really showed who I was or gave them insight into what I'm interested in or what I like to read, etc. It was just a list of books, literally, and that was definitely a weak point in my college essays. Same thing goes for the other prompts that were asked, like list the titles of films, concerts, shows, exhibits, lectures, or inter other entertainments you enjoyed the most in the past year. Everything was all over the place, didn't really show who I was as a person, wasn't make really making a story, wasn't really making, I don't know, um, any character development, whatever you want to say. I was just listing stuff for the hell of it and I wasn't showing them or trying to show them who I was, that I was interested in roller coasters, I liked Fifth Harmony at the time, all these little random things. 
I just didn't do enough to really give them a picture of who I was. This could have applied to really too many different people. Another one that I definitely struggled with was lists the titles of books you read for pleasure that you enjoyed the most in the past year. And I kind of struggled with this one because I don't read that much, to be honest. I'm definitely more artistic, so in my free time, I like to draw, paint, sculpt rather than read a book. Um, but I think over the time, I have grown from that, and I think reading is very important. So I definitely did have a limited amount of books to put, and I think being a reader will definitely be a benefit. This kind of is asked uh, multiple times, whether it was in college interviews or on the essays, like what books do you like to read? Because they like to see people who put effort into learning more or experiencing more, I guess. So I think the books that I put were fine, but again, I wasn't the strongest reader at the time, so that definitely was kind of a weak point, but I couldn't really get past that because I'm not gonna lie, but books that I also didn't read because you want to be accepted for who you are at the end of the day. Don't lie <laughs> so that you get into your school because you'll get there and you're going to have imposter syndrome. I have imposter syndrome already and I didn't lie. So just imagine if you lie, you get into the school and you're there and you feel like you don't belong. That's just going to mess with your head. So please don't lie on your applications at, at any point. The biggest part of this essay that I think you really need to like nail, you need to get it right. There's no right or wrong. There's no iffy. It's yes, and get this essay correct. And it is the why us all my other schools didn't really have this question but columbia did and the question was literally please tell us what you value most about columbia and why and when you read this question don't put random things you can find in brochures you need really need to dig deep into their curriculum certain programs um i don't know the majors you want to do does columbia offer a unique major that you really want to take and why do you want to take that and why at columbia if another school has that major why is it better to take it at columbia than at the other school if they're both unique etc i think this essay I actually did a lot better on when we when we reading it i talked a lot about the specific curriculum i remember um the curriculum being very humanities based and that was kind of intriguing to me considering that i am a mechanical engineer and all my other schools didn't really have that in their mission statement etc so i thought that would be a unique experience and it also talked about a lot of things that were very specific to columbia so I think that this essay wasn't the worst uh, for tips. You need to research, be specific, get, get down to the very specific and the littlest of details to show that you really want to go there and that it really applies to that school. Because if you can take what you wrote for this essay, the YS essay, and you can change it and swap it to a different school's prompt, that's not what they want. They want you to show that you want to go to Columbia. So please just research, 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 and yeah, be specific. The last essay was a specific essay I had to write because I was applying to the engineering school. And again, I think this essay was pretty good. It was it was a story about me and it really showed who I was, who I was as a person. So I think I did do pretty okay on this essay. But at the end of the day, overall, I, th I would say that my essays were too generic. They weren't specific enough to Columbia. Um, I didn't mention any professors. I wasn't, there was no details really, except for the last two essays. But prior to that, there wasn't really a story being told about who I was. I just mentioned books. There wasn't really a story about who I wanted to be in college and why I wanted to go there. I really just kind of was trying to write this these application essays. And I think that, you know, of course, this probably wasn't the pure reason why I didn't get into the school, but it definitely didn't help me either. So hopefully, you know, this video helps. Please just try and avoid these mistakes when you're writing your essays to whichever schools you want to go to. Be specific and show that you want to go there. Don't be afraid to show that you're eager to go to that school. That's what they want. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I think it's gonna be pretty short. Uh, but yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Leave suggestions in the comments of things you wanna see or you want me to address, whether it's college, engineering, maybe fashion. I haven't gotten to that yet. I'm kind of really just addressing college right now because the application's just open. You guys are probably applying to school and you're looking for help, etc. So I'm really focusing on that. But yeah, please just leave suggestions below and have a great day.